ask for another one. So look, check this out, right? Why is it that, you know, people with like, they don't seem to give a damn about you unless you're dead or in a hospital, you know, but when you out here and you, when, when you living and breathing, people want, don't want to say you great, but it's like after they drop you in the ground, then all of a sudden they say you was a saint. You know, they say you, they say how real you was and how great you was, but they ain't do that stuff. You know, when you was above ground, you know, it, it's sad. Yeah, it, is, it is really sad. It's like uh, over time, it's like, you know, when, when we was kids, we uh we had Christmas parties. Uh, what was we had? You know, we used to go over our relatives' house as kids. You know, we used to spend a night over each other's house. My me and my cousin, all us. <clears throat> we used to have you know Thanksgiving. You know Thanksgiving. We said the bowling alley. Uh, you know family reunions. It's like when you a kid, all that stuff is so much better. But it's like uh, when you grow up it's like the mask start to come off of certain people like family members and all that and they show you who they really you know who they always was you know it's like they say times change people change and feelings change so and it's like certain people in my family died that I uh you know my aunt you know she had passed like when I was in high school you know, we used to go over her house for like Christmas uh, parties. As a matter of fact, I used to stay over there. We used to stay over there. As a matter of fact, her name was uh, Aunt Joe. You know, R.I.P. Aunt Joe. But uh, she was real cool. You know, uh, when I went over her house, <clears throat> she had a room especially for me. So she didn't never say, "Oh, you gotta go to." You know, I, you know how some people when y'all kids, you know, you go over their house you got a bedtime and stuff like that oh nah that, that was like my second home away from my grandmother's house they were sisters as a matter of fact my grandmother's sister but all right peter on joe because i'm like wow you know i went over her house and believe him believe me i would be over there watching tv all night she never said oh uh oh wayne go to go to bed and all this you know i'm like i was free over there you know so she wanted people to, you know, we, you know, held the family together. Like, uh, I don't know how it would be now, like, if she still was alive. But, uh, you know, my grandmother also, one of my great-grandmothers, it passed. Uh, but like I said, when my grandmother passed, you know, family wasn't really the same. You know, like they always say, when you grow up, stuff ain't really the same. You know, no more family and a lot of stuff changed. You know, but... And it's like uh, funerals, funerals are the new family reunion. It's like fa only time family come together now is when somebody in a hospital or they or at a funeral. That's the only time I see like families come together. It's like, you know, that's, that's crazy. So it's like when you, when you in that casket, when you when you when you in that casket, uh, everybody come to see you. But when you was out here alive, living and breathing, it's like ain't many want to come and see you, check on you. You know, call they ain't want to call and uh, say, oh, how are you and all that. And I mean, unless they try to be nosy, Mo you know, everybody got their own motives for calling and stuff. You no, know, but some, you know. And it, this is another thing I want y'all to look for. Uh, just because somebody's calling, that don't mean they care about you. You know, you got some people to call or message you just to see if you fail yet. You know, that, that's what one older guy said. He, he said, he said, man, I don't got, he said, Wayne, I don't got a lot of friends. He said, he said, some of these people just calling to see if I fail yet. You know, so that's another jewel right there. So everybody got their different reasons why they call and check on you very few you know had you know are genuine and they care but you know most don't
And it's like another thing, you know, when you when you dead and gone, it's like it's like the threat is gone. So those we those uh that you were a threat to when you was alive, they all of a sudden start coming out. You know, that's why you got certain people disrespecting people, uh, and songs and stuff after they pass. Or, you know, people spitting on people grave stuff like that and uh some people they just be saying stuff uh about the dead that a lot of people wouldn't even had a gust to say to their face when they was alive so that's like i just ask people why you wait till the threat gone you know same with tupac uh or any you know a lot of these dudes you know it's like when the threat is gone that's when a lot of these people said stuff but when when they was alive living and breathing Certain people ain't say certain stuff because they knew they would have got dealt with. You know, it's sad. That that's like uh, that that's like uh, Ply said in that song. You know, he said he said he said don't you know like like I'ma say I say the same stuff. Don't wait till I'm gone to tell me how great I am. You know, tell me now. You know, if you feel a certain way about me, I'd rather you tell me now so I can know. You know, don't wait till, like I said, don't wait till I'm gone to have a block party for me. Have, have one for me now. Let's celebrate now while, you know, while we alive. You know, see, like I said, that's the problem with the world. You know, wait till somebody's dead and gone to have a party or, you know, uh, that's like put you you putting people on shirts, you know. Do do that stuff when people alive, you know. Celebrate people when they alive. Don't you know? You wait till they till they gone. That's that's it's too late. And you know the pastors, all they gonna do is lie. They gonna shit. It, it can be the most wickedest person in the world. They gone. In the past, uh, people can have bodies and all that other stuff. The past the line talking about how this and that person was a good uh, was a good person and how they uh, see how, how they how they resting in heaven. I'm like, you don't know where they went. Pastors be they be they be this is uh, worse lying to people, you know, for a dollar. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>